Let's we start out start west, with? and we are counting Texas as a west team. Okay. Texas is our first team, plus 350, minus 220 to make the playoff. The win total is at 10 and a half. Over is 144 to the plus. Under is minus 176. I need to know if I have permission after what I did last year <laughs> to join the bandwagon. I need 10 gallon Mike's blessing if I may join the burn orange this fall. Listen, here to reins. The horses are there because I'm not riding with you. What? <laughs> I escaped out the back of the wagon. What? what? No, hold on. Why? I don't like Texas this year. Hold on. What? 10 yeah, gallon Jim is there back. There we go. <laughs> he looks like the yeah. fucking cowboy from Toy Story. Woody? What the hell is that guy's name? He says, I'm Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> I'll just spit on my head. Let's do this. Yours is back. Four offensive linemen back, including a, a, a first-round left tackle in Banks. I can't look at you while you're talking, but go ahead. Mike, this O-line is... I'll take the hat off. This O-line is years in the making. 123 combined starts. Yours will have time. You look at their schedule this year. They go to Michigan and to Texas A&M. They're favored in both games. They get Georgia and Austin. They don't play Ole Miss. They don't play Alabama. They don't play LSU. I want to bet them to go 11-1 and one this season, bet the over on the 10 and a half. You're all on your own. I think you'll get paid for your opinion, which I respect, plus 144. You can call it plus 150 even if sure. you shop. Um, What's your concern? My concern is twofold. A, I'm still not sold Quinn Ewers is the guy. Like, the guy, the guy. Like? Like Carson Beck's the dude. I don't know that Quinn Ewers is. He still goes through these periods where I go, what the fuck is wrong with you? You say mechanically. All of it, yeah. And I and again, I look, I was all in on them last year. I thought he'd take a step forward. He did. It wasn't quite as big as I wanted. And they made the playoff. Texas was back. Mm -hmm. But when I look at Ewers, is there more there? I don't know. I have concerns at wide receiver. Now, they have depth and they've brought people in and i believe this is a silas bolden is here who's the four foot tall dynamo from oregon state but that's not xavier worthy that's not ad mitchell that's you know it's different they lost sanders the tight end yes i know now i want to see it you're right on the o-line now they just lost their starting running back for the season i i'm aware he's gone they still have blue the other running back uh, but but they've taken some hits now the real concern is what you highlighted here it's on defense and it is going from having an elite defensive line, specifically on the interior, to total question marks. Now, if if I'm betting, okay, Texas to make the playoff you can't. is different. No, I'm saying, work with me. If I was making that bet, these concerns are lesser because I don't need them to go 11-1. and one. I'd make an argument a 9-3 and three Texas team is getting in. Yeah. But if you want me to say this team will lose one game this fall, when they have to go out and go at Michigan, go at AM. Favorite in both. They're gonna play Georgia. Sure. That could I be the one. I just can't get there with them. Now, if you wanna bet them, you wanna bet them to win the SEC at plus 350. I, th I would sprinkle on that too. I, I think you're you're over. You can't touch the under. I would have bet the under if these odds were remotely fair. Yeah. But minus 178, I can't do it. Texas is a stay away from me. And I don't feel nearly as confident as you do. So last year they were elite against the run, right? Yep. Like number three in America against the Josh, run. Josh, was it? Sweat, the 350-pound kid. He was a problem. They lost two guys on the interior to the NFL. Yeah. The edges are still there, and they added Trey Moore from UTSA, 13-sack guy. Fresh All-America, right? Yeah, he's he, the, the biggest newcomer to this football team. Um, Anthony Hill was their linebacker last year who was – really good as a freshman. Mm -hmm. I still think the defense will be very good, and I, I'm just pinning it on the idea that I have an NFL quarterback with four offensive linemen and a favorable schedule. That's my question. Do you believe Quinn Ewers is a first-round pick? I think he will go in the first round. Ah, I didn't ask you that. I asked, do well, you what, believe? What's the definition of a first-round pick? Do first? you believe he's a first-round pick in your heart? Don't don't say because Daniel Jeremiah, Jeremiah's got a boner. Well, J.J. McCarthy went in the first round. I like, didn't ask you that. Right. Is Quinn Ewers a guy that you would take in the first round? Not in the top 10, but yes. Okay. You, you, you can hedge it all the way. You gave There's me the no answer hedge. I needed. I said He's yes. not elite. Yeah. Okay. He's a good player, not a great player. And if you're but not I, great. I, I didn't say bet him to win the national title. Uh, well, at 11 and 1, that's kind of the team you are. And I think they could lose to Georgia. We gave that line out on a previous episode, one and a half points. It says a lot about Georgia being 
a favorite going into Austin. I will like, save they could my lose thoughts to, on Georgia for the appropriate time. Like they could lose to Georgia, and many people expect them to lose to Georgia, and Georgia's a cut above. They go 11-1 and one on a softer schedule, and there they are. Do you want to bet the over with me? The over what? I'll just book your bet. No, I'm going to bet my own bet. No, no, no. I'll take your money. No, because you're going to do the thing where you don't bet it because you don't have any confidence. No, I'm not. I'm not betting it. I'm saying I'll just be the book. I'd rather just make money off of you. It'll pay for a few lunches. What a friend. I just, I don't like this bet, but you are free to, and I respect okay. that you're taking a shot at damn near plus 150. Yeah. Next. All right.